I was just wondering what, if any, debate went into the decision to share the full chain of thought, because obviously OpenAI initially chose not to and cited a mix of reasons, but I think most people sort of interpreted it primarily as a competitive consideration that they didn't want to share the full chain of thought so everybody could just go run and, you know, distill or do SFT or whatever on their work. That, you know, does not seem to have proven a durable moat for them, but I wonder kind of what considerations or what debates you guys had as you decided... Yeah, I feel like these kind of decisions, they're often a mixture of input from safety team, from the researchers, from leadership. And it really is kind of a complex decision. I couldn't give you like a very specific roadmap, but for each release, it's like very carefully considered. We have like our leaders like Cori, Demis, will often want to like have a very good understanding of uh, the pros and cons. And yeah, for me, I just try and make sure all the models are incredibly strong. And we have a lot of good options on the table. Yeah. So I think it's an area of active kind of exploration. We haven't settled. We're not like fixed on one particular way of surfacing these thoughts. And in fairness, also for OpenAI, you know, I don't know why they chose to show summaries. We could speculate. They did give us some reasons, but, you know, I'm sure there could be a mixture of reasons that uh, go beyond just things like distillation to other aspects. I think there was like an initial worry from some group of people that, you know, maybe if we show thoughts, then we have to then start RLHFing thoughts to make them look really nice to users. And maybe we don't want to encourage models to have deceitful thoughts. There's another school of thought, which is once you have these thoughts, it's great for interpretability and you can understand how the model formed its like output. So I guess there's just a whole debate going on about what's the best way to ingest and communicate this content. From my perspective, I just want to make sure the thoughts are resulting in a way stronger answer, way more capable model. And that's my main kind of concern. I think we show the chain of thought right now as part of these experimental model releases. And we're trying to get feedback and learn from real user behavior. This is often an incredibly important aspect of releasing any technology. And then we're very like seriously taking in feedback looking at how these things are used in practice and then make more educated decisions on how to kind of surface information from chain of thought in future. And safety is definitely one thing that plays into a big part of that decision.